different angles. Good body grenade there from Khan to try and set things up, but Closer has a sound barrier just in time. The duplicated diva from Naga here, Gilo to free bomb and is going to resuit. It's going to draw a charge out of Mag, who again is going to get hit with the body grenade. There's an immortality field in play, but the minefield's also going to be a bit of an issue. Mag needs to be topped up quickly, but Naga is decimating the rest of the justice, and the Eternal are in position now to take the point at 42% and counting. Oh yeah, and you had Mag try and go for a shatter at the end of that, and I don't even believe he got it off. Last meal. Decay going to be holding onto the Pulse Bomb here, and he doesn't need to use it on Darn. Again, Naga's being pressured, but he's able to find Baby with the Sticky Bombs there. It's a Moira taken out of the mix. That's such a high-value kill. Fury down to Vestola here, and Naga should be able to clean this one up as well. The Eternal maintain control of the point, and now the Justice are going to deal with Assassin. The Bloodthirsty support from the Eternal really making it hard to pick him off in the back line. Only God also has a Pulse Bomb to spare, but now it's time to go. It doesn't stick. Mag's able to jump away from it there. Decay though connects with Khan, and that's the difference that Justice needed to make in this fight. Still some cleanup work to be done though, as Decay must recall, but it's looking good, Matt, for the Justice. Uh, I, I, in the end, it will be good for the Justice, but uh, it did not look good for a while there. The Khan kill on to- gonna catch Fury, but the Diva doesn't have the mobility during the duration of this hack. Fury has to stand off the point and actually gets desuited. Vestal on the other side, though, is able to eat Decay's Pulse Bomb, and Assassin has to get out. That EMP connects with the whole back line, and that's a huge setup for Decay to go in. Resurrect here could be big, and Naga's back in the fight. Still in overtime, Matt, and that's close to Sound Barrier. Yeah, and it's going to push the Eternal off of the point for just Touch. a little bit, and yeah, Vestola got knocked off. A bit low now, TP thrown down by Oni God just to be able to get into the back line and now he's charged up and ready to go. It might be a little bit too late though. Yeah, Naga and Dan already down as Mag wins the frontline fight. Yeah, it's getting that ice block out early. Uh, he got it out of Naga, he had an ice block because he gets caught off by the wall. Doesn't pretty far up, it's like almost like halfway up between the players. Uh, on the Eternals, so not a great Am Matrix. Shadow block there by Mag, but then his shadow goes awry as well. The sound barrier, great timing from Dredro there. And he gets two kills in that fight, two environmental kills, man. Fury tried to get cute. He tried to ramage on through it, which is such a huge, impactful ultimate. You see it come out here from Khan early. Too close to the front line. Assassin goes down just before the Symmetra Wall came up, and it's an icicle that claims him. But Darn falls. He's gonna hit, get hit by the fire strike, and Naga can't make the blizzard work. He has no idea where it went, but Fury was sat there waiting for it. The Justice don't control the point quite yet, and there's still some cleanup to be done. Without Mag in the equation here, the previous heroics from the Justice may be for naught. Closer though, getting his hands dirty now, and Dredro's not going to be able to escape. Unless... Okay, don't know how he slipped away there. Fury going to be laser carved out of his mech now, and Assassin wants to push up with this Blizzard, but no one's going to get caught inside of that. It's Decay coming back into the fight with two kills up here. Sees the Maywall to the left-hand side, but doesn't want to commit too heavily. Matt Glow goes for the Shatter anyway. He's going to catch Dart and Card. He got four with that. Absolutely massive. And he doesn't overcommit. No charge there. Just hammer swing, knowing Decay and Co. will help clean up. Bebe goes for the Amplification Matrix, but doesn't seem in position to make much offensive use of that ability. And the wall comes second from the Eternal. Shadow came in from Darn, but it doesn't look like they're able to follow up on it to a great degree. It's just Decay to fall, and it's a trade of Symmetra's in the end. Blizzard here from Assassin. That one doesn't tickle for the Eternal. The self-destruct is avoided for the most part, and Mag misses a charge, but Darn has got to be on the wrong side of that wall. Assassin late into the fight, having a huge impact on this. May Matthew faced a lot of criticism, but right now, it's an icy road. He's paving the way to victory for the Washington Justice, and they're going to take away Li Zhang Tower. Yeah, and, uh, and it, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, we haven't seen okay. Reaper in so long, right? But I mean, right there, that's exactly what I was talking about. They just punish Don. I mean, Vistola in nowhere close, and they just run him down. Uh, he's just really not one for subsidy, is he? Decay just turns straight up, absolutely rolls on towards Don, teleports forward, I think, onto the platform into that. But with the close quarter nature of the Moira and the Reaper, I mean, that, that makes total sense. Nice pulse bomb there by Onigard. Picking up two. I mean, that's just perfect. You get both DPS for that one. I don't think because the Germans causing a lot of problems for the Justice so far, but he's a sound bearer and they just launch forward. Again, the pace they can access with his Lucio Moro composition is hard for the Eternal to deal with. Khan goes down early in the fight, which means their healing is lacking, and Dredro was midway through rally. He's now gone as well. Naga can't make ends meet with a duplicated Reaper ultimate, and that might be that already. The Justice now set up on the point. One tick for them already. The Eternal try and respond here. What do they switch to? Maybe nothing at this stage here. Is he going to try and make it work with these compositions? It's a, another missed pulse bomb there from Only God after getting two at his last one. 
Can't catch them all, I guess. But 86.7% already for the Justice, and they are far from done. Khan's in deep trouble. He's going to get pincered there in that back line, and Dan is just a second too late with a primal mat. Yeah, and the Eternal end up nanoing uh, Dridro there on the brig, and really nice adjustment by the Justice. They just run right past it, right to the corner, and uh, you, you see what that's going to lead to here is players just jumping onto the point one by one for Paris, just trying to draw this out as long as possible. Decay knows that they have to backtrack, they have to back up as he just plows towards his goal. He'll catch Earning God there out of a blink with the Death Blossom, and that's 3.55 to count for the Justice. Positions. Look, one team that really got a lot of mileage out of the Cowboy, Matthew, is the Soul Dynasty. Uh, you know, they had fits on McCree as often as possible, and he really had a huge impact uh, with, with some incredible stats that it really suited their slow, their more bunker based on these otter comps. So, really eliminated that from even happening is oh, that is a, a not another. I mean, there has been nothing I here mean, from the Eternal. Yeah. You have to have some kind of cojones to try and go against Decay on the Cowboy with anything airborne, right? Naga is that kind of player, which is fine, but Decay is punishing the, the Farah pick in a big way. There might have to be a switch here. Oh, no way. Okay, Fury gets manually hacked here, so there's no one to really stop this barrage from coming in, and Naga finally gives an account of himself on this Farah. Concussive blast away. Sees that self-destruct go in there from Fury, and now he wants to dive further into the back line. The Justice get out with the Lucio speed boost. Okay, so there's an assumption about the Eternal playing around that corner. They're just not. A lot of them get taped to the sky. It's pretty hard to find good value with that Shatter against his composition anyway, so you got to be reasonable about it. Ant Matrix is huge, though. Yep, Decay playing around it. We've seen the Justice go for this. Decay through the Ant Matrix on the Cowboy, and he cleans up Vistola, and there's nothing more to push up a little bit and try and get him an angle. Oh Whoa. my! Assassin just gets mulched there by only got a point blank range. He finds another headshot before dropping down. Baby loses that immortality field now, and the Eternal looking much healthier. Self destruct on the corner doesn't affect anyone from the Justice, but they are looking haggard as all heck. Trying to move on to the point here, but only got is not missing right now. Closing gets taken down by Naga. And the Eternal come up with the goods here at the last few seconds. Three minutes to play with for the Justice, and that may be enough to do it. Barrage here from Naga. Nano boost as well, just to secure kills. Self-destruct there from Fury does very little, but Decay's able to find Darn. Team effort though, looks like there was a hack involved there. He'll be brought back into the fight though, and the Justice need to try and regroup as quickly as possible. Naga doesn't want to give them that opportunity, but a huge sleep done. That's a massive connection there. Naga now has to sleep on the high ground. Assassin would love to get there, but he's got to deal with the Tracer first. Defensive body grenade there from Bebe after a ridiculous sleep. The ultimates on some big key players. Yeah, they got to go aggressive now, the Justice. Mag was getting a little bit low and didn't quite have his Primal Rage, so they had to use their Nano, but that's all really they use. Uh, the oh. Justice get aggressive behind that, and they get a lot of value. The Eternal are in a sort of an ultimate and percentage trough right now. Yeah. That's a little bit of... Okay, straight for the EMP, and it's the back line that's hit hardest. Khan picked off instantly. Vastola's going to get hit with a hack, and Closer goes for the insurance policy of the sound barrier there. Oh. The Justice get another fight win, Matt. We're under 30 seconds. The Eternal look a little listless. Well, this is what I meant by that first fight. So many teams do on Anubis, as Decay now has a Pulse Bomb. You have Primal Rage active, oh, no. there's going to be Khan dropping right away. Uh, I, I don't know about the opportunity for a back cap here, Matthew. Naga's able to pick up closer. Team. Yeah, but Fury was ready for it. He drops back. Naga's also going to be caught in the sights of Assassin, and he will be removed. And the Justice, a convincing... The Justice, but looks like it'll just be the one tick for them, Matthew. Yeah, they won't be able to get away with anything else. You know, Bebe is such a large source of the healing as yeah, you're going to lose two players. So there's uh, Assassin still behind enemy lines. Cole Essence now to try and catch his team against the damage here from the Primal Rage, but a Biotic Grenade came in and that's Decay down as a result. Mag has a Primal of his own here. Winston really where he feels the most comfortable, but what can he do now without the Reaper in the mix? There again, he gets at least one kill for every single Primal Rage that he uses, man. He's got an efficiency of 1.0 and he gets Khan, the most important target. A big EMP on the follow-up there from Assassin and things are coming up Millhouse for the Justice, Matthew. Yeah, and as soon as they get that first kill on a con, they invest the sound barrier, they push on through, Rally comes out, but then the EMP comes from Assassin, and they're able to withstand... Zuna, I mean, he knows he's under Assassin's scrutiny right now, but there's going to be a Death Blossom here, and Vistola can't get away from it. The self-destruct claims Khan, and Bebe even invests the Coalescence here. It's more than enough for the Justice. The, the Lucio, uh, you, you cannot... Deadly. 
Eyes on Dan here with the Primal Rage. Oh, we might have a chance to use it here. EMP again catches four and Dan is dispatched extremely quickly. Mag finds his way into a small room and he's accosted Dredro here, realizing he probably can't get the kill though. And that whip shot forces him back again. I think mid flight. But the Justice get what they want. They get some space. He's in deep trouble. He can't blink away. Naga now trying to do something in the middle of the fight, but he's walked straight into a defense matrix and he gets picked up by Assassin, who gets till two kills already on both DPS, no less. Decay stunned out, out of that Death Blossom there by the Brig. It's frustrating, but there's a coalescence in the fight to keep him vital. And soon is going to struggle. He has to recall inside his own spawn, basically. Bebe just dishing out the skill orbs here. Obviously, Moira getting more health back per second makes a difference in fights like this. And the Justice finished with 250 on the clock. Uh, they have not slowed down for one second since this series. Change, but uh, man, I, I feel like the Paris Eternal are in such a difficult position right now. That timing there was beautiful. Unclear whether sort of Assassin tracks. Done. Soon is in trouble. His translocator has been removed by Assassin. He hacks him as well from behind. But the Justice have no way of picking him out of the massive Eternal plays by the looks of things here. This is looking much better here for Paris. It's also so much damage onto Mag. Uh, you know, with the Reinhardt hammers, the uh, the ability to be hacked, oh. and then, oh, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, and then the Reaper. Uh, trying to trade a little bit here. The wall, though, is a big change. Naga goes in, gets rid of Bebe early up, but you can see just how charged Decay is. Forces Naga away, but Mag a little bit too far forward there. So as good as this comp is for the Justice, they don't have a lot to really deal with the Reaper. Naga just walks in there. After getting rid of Bebe, it's on for young and old. There's no one who really can stop him. No CC yeah. there. Up and touch here. Keep the fight going. Ooh, Assassin's very low and close. is going to get hit with that EMP. Yeah, nothing to be done here. The Justice will try and stall this out a little bit longer, but they are struggling so far in Numbani after a decent attacking round. The Eternal have a huge time bank here. They haven't even got yeah, that second checkpoint. 5.34 on the clock. That's nuts. First fights and switching, the Justice actually have some ultimates to work with. Dead Blossom from Naga. Catches closer again. He's struggled in the last couple of fights. Still hasn't built that sound barrier yet. Now, the Eternal are giving the Justice a bit of a clouting here. And they look quite good on the comp that the Justice has been going to this entire series, so... Maybe a switch here in philosophy for both teams. Mag doesn't connect at all, and he gets shattered. Him and Fury knocked to the ground, and Mag is taken down. Despite the sound barrier being in the fight, the Eternal are able to come over the top of it there. Blizzard from Assassin slows things up, and Closer finds a cheeky little double. Can he stay alive, though? Naga pushing forward, and it's unclear how much of that defense matrix Fury has left. This lets Pistola sort of range a bit further away from the fight and chase Bebe down. Mag walks face first into an EMP here, but has the durability just in his base health to stay alive. Assassin on the Tracer is not a common sight here, but it's not there. Symmetra wall going to make it hard to connect on that, and Naga's probably made it pretty clear where he was going with that teleport. The Symmetra barrier makes it really hard for the Death Blossom to get any value for him, and he brings an ultimate into the fight. Ultimately, it gets nothing, and this is where the Justice have an opportunity to try to force Dana drop the shield if he can, maybe force the enemy Ryan out of position. There's the immortality field, and the Eternal looked like they felt comfortable enough there to stand away from the shield, but they have an EMP to break back in. And with Decay and Mag falling, this might be it. Fury walks onto the car and gets rid of car with a rematch kill, buys a little bit of time. Crucial time being bought. Look how healthy he still is. They yeah. can't kill him. Across the map, uh, Bebe keeps that Diva alive for quite a while. Now, Khan is back in the mix here. Self-destruct catches Decay, and I mean, the Justice can't afford to let those kills happen this way. They do freeze Darn, but the Immortality oh. Field may have kept him alive. It wasn't quite placed correctly, though, and this could be devastating for the Eternal, Matthew. It's not over yet, but Naga comes in with a heroic Death Blossom, and the d suit there on Fury should pave the way. Assassin can't stall for as long as he would have liked, and it's a minute and ten. But this is also going to give Decay some really nice sight lines. And yeah, I mean, he's going to be able to take out two from a distance. <laughs> oh, that's so nasty. Fastest gun in the West. Dridro's able just to skirt away. What are doing here? High ground advantage for Washington. Mag sees a wall come up, but didn't have a shatter anyway. It's away with Fire Strike that catches Naga. The shatter there not nearly as fancy, but Mag doesn't do it that way. He does it the old fashioned way. Swing and hammer, Dredro now, under the scrutiny of Decay, will crumble, and so do the Eternal on this attack. That's a full hold here in extra innings for the Justice, and their wake forward is clear. Yes. Opposite high ground, okay, that's fruity, man. 
And, and that negates the, that you're not going to take oh. the TP if you're the, the Eternal, oh. and that ruins anything they could have got with the Sim. Oh, Mr. Chick fil A, I don't feel so good. Khan, the immortality field's been taken down. Vesla is desuited, and the Justice stand tall. It's been a proud season for the Paris Eternal. A very ambitious project here. Players that previously weren't featured in the Overwatch League and playing entirely from Europe, but now, at this point, their rooster is cooked. It's going to be the Justice advancing to take on the shock.